how to withdraw crypto from Bybit to another wallet or exchange. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto from Bybit to another wallet or exchange. So firstly, you want to go to your assets in the top right and then click on your balance. To withdraw crypto from Bybit, it needs to be in your funding account. So if it's in your unified trading account, you will need to move it across, which you can do by pressing transfer in the top right. So here you just set it to transfer from your unified trading account to your funding account and you just pick whichever crypto you want to move and key in the amount below and then confirm it. My crypto is already in my funding account so I'm not going to do that. Once it's in your funding account you can go to your funding account here and then find the crypto you want to withdraw and then press withdraw next to it. So I'm going to do this with my USDT and this has now pre-populated the coin in the first dropdown. You will then need the wallet address of where you want to send your crypto to, which you will get from your other wallet or exchange. In this example, I'm going to transfer my crypto to Binance. But generally speaking, you can find the wallet address of where you are transferring your crypto to by going to the other exchange and looking for something along the lines of deposit or deposit crypto. If you want a tutorial for a specific exchange that you may be using, then I recommend checking out my channel as I have lots of videos explaining how to find a wallet address on loads of different exchanges. So once you are in the deposit crypto section of the exchange you are transferring to, you would then pick the crypto you want to deposit. So in my case, USDT. Then to get your wallet address on Binance, you need to pick the network you plan to send your crypto on. If we flip back to Bybit for a second, you can see all the different networks that Bybit can send USDT on and their associated fees. I'm going to pick one of the cheaper networks such as Sol. And I'm going to go back to Binance and check that Binance can receive USDT on the Sol network which it can. So now I have picked the network. Binance has given me my wallet address for this specific crypto and network. Wallet addresses will vary if you change either your cryptocurrency or network and it's critical to pick the correct corresponding wallet address and network when transferring crypto otherwise you risk losing your funds. I'm going to copy my wallet address from Binance using the two sheets of paper here. It's always worth copying the address or scanning the QR code rather than typing it manually. So now I'm going to flip back to Bybit and I'm going to paste my wallet address here. If you're likely to send to this wallet address again, then you can add the wallet address to your address book by pressing the add button to the right of the address here. And this will take you to a new screen where you will verify this withdrawal address by using an authentication method such as Google Authenticator or email. So you don't have to do this every time you withdraw. But if I flip back to the withdrawal screen, I will then pick Sol as the network type as this corresponds to the wallet address I am sending to on Binance. Now you want to key in the amount you want to send. So I'm going to key in 10. And you can see any associated transaction fees below this and so I will be charged one USDT for this transaction. It's always worth reviewing the crypto wallet address network and other details before sending your crypto and if it's your first time transferring to a wallet then it's always worth sending a small test amount of crypto first because if you key in the details wrong then you will lose your funds. Once you are happy with this you can press the confirm button and then you have one last chance to review the transaction and if you're happy again you can press submit. If you did not add this wallet address to your address book, you will need to authenticate that it is you who is withdrawing the crypto, which depending on your security settings, you may need to get a code out of your Google Authenticator app and a code via email. So I've done that and I'm going to press next step. And you can now see that my withdrawal application was submitted. And after a period of time, which varies due to a lot of factors such as network, this should turn up on your other wallet. For those looking for new exchanges, I have put some links of the ones I use in the description below where some of them have deposit bonuses and I may get a kickback if you sign up using them, but it massively helps support this channel and I'll be forever thankful. So anyway, that is how to withdraw crypto from Bybit to another exchange or wallet. 
If you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.